Hello, Loom freaks. You know me. I love Loom. I wear my watches at night. I need to know the time all the time. And um, once again, the DIY Watch Club provides an amazing kit. Uh, retail $180, but you will see in the description a uh, coupon you can use to get this as usual, beautifully laid out kit with a prime quality tools to use. You have a choice of the green uh, C3 type of loom or the, the blue uh, BGW9. And as usual, they go the uh, extra uh, mile. You get a great uh, scale in the, in the kit. You get uh, your little uh, UV lamp uh, as well. So you can get really precise measurements and you can admire the result of your hard work. So this kit really helps demystifying uh, how loom is applied, the different types of loom. And as usual, the excellent uh, instruction video goes into all the details on how to get the brightest loom and you can get better results than what you get from commercial products on your Seikos, on all the other brands. As usual, the DIY Watch Club is really for the enthusiasts and they will compare to what's available uh, out there and explain to you how to get a better result. So uh, we have two options uh, here on how to create our compound. Uh, this is the Loom Powder, which we're gonna mix with the pre-mixed uh, mixture here uh, on a one for one uh, uh, basis uh, using uh, the scale but you can experiment yourself uh, if you want a brighter loom you can uh, mix uh, with this uh, binder your, your powder uh, for example on a 7 to 3 uh, ratio uh, the more powder the brighter the loom however the um, index the hands uh, will have a more matte effect and uh, adversely, if you put a more binder, uh, you will get a less bright loom, but a glossier effect on uh, wherever you have applied it. Uh, also, you have to be mindful of how thick the, the mix is going to be. If it gets too thick, it's impossible to apply. So you, you will have to purchase some uh, thinner at your local hardware store. But today, uh, I have laid down uh, a minute hand, an hour hand, a seconds hand here, and a dial. So the dial is a sandwich uh, construction. This is the, the front, and we're gonna loom the back, just like uh, they do on a, on a Panerai, for example. I'm gonna try to do uh, the best I can. The video, instructional video, I encourage you to go step by step with it. Uh, it really explains to you in all the details how to get the best, most professional result. I'm not a very handy person myself, so I will do uh, my best. The first thing to do is to uh, mix your powder with the, with the binder. So let's turn on the scale. Get it to uh, zero. And we're gonna use uh, 200 grams uh, in total, so 100 gram of the, the pre-mix. Uh, there you go, one drop, we're really going drop by drop with this uh, type of work. Every drop is about 17 uh, milligram. What I love about those kits is that you get tools you can use for all your builds, future builds, so it's not just uh, to be used one time. There you go. We're gonna have to be very precise. I wanna add 100 grams of powder on the scale. A bit more just to do a one for one. Perfect with the, the binder that I had. There you go. And then you just want to mix those two. You see it's getting a bit thicker, but it has to be runny enough 
to be applied. There you go. That's what loom looks like before it is applied. So we're going to start with the minute hand. You start from the back. So I, I never realized that the, the, the hands were empty in the middle and uh, the loom uh, is applied from the back and unless it is uh, too liquid it will not run off from the hand. I hope that using the pre-mix that's what the result we're gonna get. So just following the instructions from the, the video what you want is just enough not too much using a drop and then you make it run along and if you don't have enough you add another drop from where you left off and there you go for the uh, hour hand what we want to do is paint a little bit the surrounds because the uh, aperture is uh, is bigger sort of uh, prepare there you go and now taking quite a bit more there you go now the seconds hand just a little bit we do that's done I hope you can see on the on the video this is really tiny work now for the dial I'm gonna turn this around it takes about 10 minutes for the hands there's not a lot of uh, mix uh, applied to them, but for the dial, it, there's quite a bit more, so we we'll leave it uh, drying overnight. So here we need a, a good, good drop. Drop it to the middle and let it fall out. I sort of press one second there. Seems to give a good result. And I guess you'll have to experiment a bit on how much you should uh, apply. And this one is, doesn't have enough. You're really painting a masterpiece. Uh, so I'm guessing that you don't want to see the brush strokes too much. Okay, I think I've done a, a reasonable job for and yeah, there, was, there will always be that guy on the web saying, oh, I can buy all these bits and pieces, these parts to make these watches, to make that loom kit on uh, Alibaba and do it myself for $10 less. Just trust the DIY watch club, you know. There are enthusiasts like us and they put together a nice kit so you have all in one nice box and all the tools you need, so, and tools of good quality. There you go. Maybe I'm putting too much, but uh, hey, we'll see the, the result. And uh, this is a bit forgiving because there will be the, the top side uh, put on it afterwards. So it, it will limit uh, the, the visual. All right, so we're going to let everything uh, dry out. One thing it, is that the uh, compounds you made will dry out. So keep your tools clean because you want to be able to reuse them including the little cup there I'm surprised how clean a job I, I've done by the way let's have a quick look Ooh, look at all that good loom Man, this is good looking. Ah, I think we're going to have a good result. 
By the way, if you uh, completely botch a job la like I've done here the first time, you can simply scrape off the, the loom. Just be careful and there you go. It's not very difficult to, to remove, but take your time to do, uh, to do it properly. So this is the back of the minute hand. And this is the front. Let's zoom in. Wow, look at the way this is loomed. Wow, impeccable. Uh, let's uh, put it down here and check out the hour hand. Gotta be careful here. I see a tiny bit of loom on the outside. Maybe you should uh, be careful, but yeah, it's a pretty good result. You can see it here. I try to. There you go. Not bad, huh? Not bad nice and bright very beautiful and a little preview of the the dial so far the loom here looks quite uniformly applied so i would say yeah don't be scared to uh, paint it not just do a drop and forget about it which is what I did the first time and also my compound was getting a bit dry so you want to work a bit fast as well or just redo the the mix a little bit of my uh, <laughs> amateur advice and of course the uh, the seconds hand gonna be hard to pick up on the, the camera but there you go uh, this is the back of it And I'll try to pick it up gently to show you the, the front. But it seems to me like uh, the result is clean. And of course, I think you, you better appreciate the result uh, if you mount all this onto a watch using the uh, DIY watch club kit that I've used before to uh, build uh, a diver and a, and a GMT diver. You can also uh, uh, purchase the uh, the Mosel uh, dress watch uh, kit so there you go guys let me know what you think in the comments and let the DIY watch club guys know what you think these guys are just wonderful the communication the, the shipment everything is always uh, very straightforward very easy they love watches as much as we do so uh, yeah share any comment suggestions uh, in the comment section below the results uh, are really uh, quite impressive and uh, yeah, as I said, this demystifies the process and you can get it uh, down to a science to have the brightest uh, results. Once again, thank you to the DIY Watch Club. Uh, this one was a real treat for me and uh, last time I did uh, the heat uh, bluing uh, of, uh, of the hands, uh, that too was uh, demystifying and and uh, really entertaining to to do so uh, i'll put the link in the description for the previous videos that i've done and uh, don't hesitate guys uh, i think for the the price you really get a lot of fun a lot of value uh, you learn a lot and you get tools that you can use for the rest of your life bye bye guys